long time no speak. Uh, yesterday, I, um, I don't even know if I'm going to include that clip. I went and walked the dogs, and then I don't know what happened after that. I uh, completely forgot that I was vlogging, but I'm here today. It is 12.30. I have already visited our house today, went uh, and did a walkthrough with the contractors to let them know where we wanted specific lighting. Uh, I didn't vlog that because there's a lot of people working on the house right now and obviously that would really make them feel uncomfortable um and then i came back and i filmed a video now this is where i felt like i could do a little bit of vlogging i am actually heading to sam's club and i'm going to be doing a monthly grocery haul so let me explain that will and i decided uh since he got into Vanderbilt he's going to be starting nurse practitioner school soon that we, we we really need to budget a little bit better we really need to uh, figure out things that obviously we can save money on and when it comes to food and grocery I we live literally two minutes from a Walmart so I normally just go to Walmart almost every single day if not every other day and I just pick things up uh, normally I don't buy in bulk to last uh, I will buy stuff that will last us for a couple of meals and then I end up just going back so we got a Sam's Club membership about three months ago and we decided that we were going to give ourselves a budget of around $250 a month for our meals uh, and that includes uh, a lot of also in between meals like snacks and things like that so this is only my second time doing this. The first time uh, we were under 250, we actually made it out at like 175, but I did have to go and supplement at Walmart for a few things. So I'm going to try to go to Sam's Club and buy uh, 30 days of meals for $250 or less. I don't think it's, it's gonna be less. Uh, also, I'm not gonna count the other stuff that I'm buying. I, I need to also pick up like dish detergent and paper towels and things like that. So that's not really included in the food budget. This is strictly for food. And then I thought I would come home and share with you what I got and also share with you what I plan on making with those items. So let's go ahead and go on the Sam's Club. It's already a rough week for me. My Starbs is closed for remodeling and they're not going to be open for a freaking week. And then even after the week is up, the drive through is only going to be open. So it's going to be like hell getting through there. So I, I think I'm going to get some Starbucks coffee at Sam's Club today and, and just, you know, start making my own. Let's get economical here. I don't have to be a basic bitch 24-7. Okay, finally made it out. Whew, look at me, like, now I understand why people are so turnt for the Sam's Club snack bar or the uh, concessions there, because literally by the time you're done shopping, it, you are done for. I'm done for right now. I stopped at the concessions and I got, look at this, I got a little parfait here. This is like a little pineapple 
yogurt and granola parfait and totally random but a cherry pepsi i um they normally only have coke in there but i saw pepsi products and cherry pepsi like you can never find that anymore so i'm gonna snack on this now um did go over budget but I had to get dish liquid. I had to get um, a couple of other things that weren't food related. I came in at 288, so not too far over budget. But I will admit that I have to go to Kroger and supplement because um, I need to get some ground beef, about two pounds of ground beef, and uh, Sam's Club only had it in six pounds, and it was almost $20, and we just don't use a lot of ground beef, so I really couldn't justify spending that, and then uh, chicken thighs. Chicken thighs are always on sale at Kroger, and I use chicken uh, thighs to cook so much. I make chicken and dumplings, soups. I use chicken thighs a lot, uh, and normally I can get the big packs at Kroger for around $4 uh, or under. These were between 6 and $7 for a pack. So um, obviously the really big pack, like I'm talking five pounder packs, but um, I'm going to swing on over to Kroger. Oh, and paper towels. I didn't want to buy paper towels from there because I'm a Viva. I'm loyal to Viva and they don't carry that brand in there and their paper towels are just so expensive. So um, I am gonna go to Kroger and supplement uh, a few things. I anticipate I'll probably spend mm, maybe another 30 bucks, but um, overall, you know, around the 250 mark, we're getting there. Uh, I'm hoping by my next trip, I'll really have this thing narrowed down. So I'm gonna eat my parfait and then uh, I will take you guys back home and show you everything that I got. Hey, it is like, um, wow, four hours into this trip. I just got everything unloaded onto our table. I ended up stopping at Kroger and I picked up a lot of things that I wasn't really expecting to get, but I know that we will use. Um, my camera battery died and so I'm gonna try to make it through filming this on my phone so you guys can see everything that I got. So let's go through it. All right, so let's start with some stuff in this chair that would not fit on the table. This is actually the only beef item you're gonna see in this haul because we don't eat a lot of red meat. Uh, this is simply gonna be for like one of our favorite recipes is cheeseburger soup. So this is probably what that's gonna be for. Uh, we just don't eat red meat at home. We don't really cook it unless it's summertime and we grill out and make steak or burgers. So uh, mostly everything you're gonna see is chicken and fish. Uh, we've got a big block of cream cheese. I use cream cheese sometimes in baking, but a lot of the times in the soups that I make. Uh, and I got the huge block of it. It's not cut. And it was $4 cheaper than buying the one that is already cut. So I was just like, you know, what the heck? I already eyeball it anyway. So got a huge block of that. Uh, and then we have a six pack of Swanson chicken broth. I use at least four boxes of chicken broth, again, for soups. Um, and just to supplement things sometimes. Sometimes I will make homemade broth and it needs, you know, maybe a little bit more flavor. So I'll splash in, you know, some of this. We've got, uh, this is Will's, some, some tuna. I hate tuna, I think it smells like cat food. It literally disgusts me when he eats it, but he eats tuna like every single day. So I got him a replenishment of his tuna. Now let's move up onto the table here three pounds of bacon. Honestly, we don't really eat that much bacon either, but this was a good deal. And again, I use bacon for like breakfast. I'll make chicken uh, bacon sandwiches. I use it in soups, like the cheeseburger soup, it will have bacon in it. Uh, and so, you know, it was just a better deal than me buying it from Walmart. So I went ahead and got it. Uh, this was something I added to my cart while we were at Kroger or while I was at Kroger. And it's light brown sugar and dark brown sugar. You will find a common theme as I go through all this stuff. I love to bake and this is something I am constantly needing for the month. Uh, every Saturday that will work, they have a dinner like on their break and they always ask me to make dessert. So uh, normally I will make things like cookies or brownies 
and I always use dark brown sugar or light brown sugar for that and so yep replenished on some of that at Kroger I didn't get it at Sam's Club because Sam's Club only had light brown sugar and I use dark more than I do light so here we got some Auntie Tuna Center Cut Steaks. This is the Sam's Club brand. We've been buying these and I really like them. And I'm not, like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of tuna, but you know, these are cooked obviously. And I feel like a little bit more fresh possibly than the uh, pouch tuna, but you know, whatever. Uh, really, I, I do like these. They do have a good flavor to them. So uh, we got some tuna. We have some shrimp. Shrimp is not something I normally buy, but it was a pretty good price. And I thought I could do like a shrimp salad for Will. I could do uh, shrimp tacos, shrimp pasta. I sound like Bubba Gump right now, but you get the picture. Shrimp is just very, you know, quick and easy to make. Back here we have some uh, chicken breast tenderloins and uh, normally I get the actual breasts, but they are so freaking big, like they are honkers. And I'm sorry, Tyson, but no antibiotics ever my ass. Those are huge. And so I got the tenderloins this time because I just thought they might be a little bit more user friendly for the recipes I make. Uh, I do buffalo chicken sliders. I do chicken pot pie. And so most of the time it ends up being shredded or cut. I never really make like just plain chicken tenders. So yeah. We'll see how long those last. Hopefully, you know, they do well. If not, I'll just switch, switch back to the breasts. So we've got kiwi. This is Will's fruit. He, I don't know, is on like a kiwi kick here. And then we have a lot of butter because again, I bake a lot and you always need butter in baking. And underneath I've got minute white rice. My friend Dana, Dana Ann here on YouTube uh, makes fun of me because I still buy minute white rice and you know what I grew up on it uh, when you have only have a dollar general and an IGA in your town you kind of make do with white rice and you know you can do a lot of things with it so yeah I've got a big box of that that will probably last us for a couple of months actually this was a I don't want to say a splurge purchase but just a random purchase from Kroger a lot of the times we like to do bagels in the morning with blue cheese so I got some of those this is like our pride and joy. We love turkey burgers. We have them at least once a week. And I was thrilled when I saw that Sam's Club had them. So, you know, 12 turkey burgers, they will last us for uh, a few meals. This is a little snack that I got Will at Kroger. Uh, they He likes the no shell pistachios. They had these at Sam's Club, but they're $15 for a bag. And I just really didn't want to splurge on those this month. So uh, I got a little, I found this little pouch for like $3.99 at uh, Kroger. So I'll have to make do with those. <laughs> we have some sweet potatoes. That was also a Kroger purchase for Will. Uh, and then Yukon Gold Potatoes. I hardly ever buy russet. I always buy uh, gold potatoes because they cook faster and I just prefer the flavor. Uh, to a recipe. Then I have some heavy whipping cream. That's for also some uh, baking. Sometimes I make frosting with heavy whipping cream. Uh, also, it goes in a lot of soups and pastas that I make. Aside from that, I also got some buttermilk from Kroger. And uh, buttermilk I use in muffins and cupcakes. So it's kind of always an essential in uh, my fridge. Here we've got some asparagus. This is always a good side item for us. Uh, it was a good deal at Sam's, so I got it. Baby Bell cheeses. We have been obsessed with these lately. I don't know why, but I, I just feel like they taste really good. And we get the light version. I got some sugar snap peas from Sam's Club for stir fry and like fried rice and you know, things of that nature. That's pretty much the only time that I will um, use sugar snaps. We've got some grapefruit. Grapefruit is gonna be my fruit for the month other than the peaches that I already have in the fridge. Uh, I just, I don't know, I love the smell of grapefruit. I've always loved grape, grapefruit growing up. I ate a lot of it, so got some grapefruits for myself. I don't think Will really likes those, but he's got his kiwi. Uh, from Kroger, I got some cheddar slices for uh, turkey burgers here, so I'll put that there. Carrots, I'm always in need of carrots for, again, soups sometimes I will just cut them up and steam them uh, for a healthy side you know you can never have enough carrots in my opinion this is also a will purchase uh, it's the Sam's Club marinated white pot salmon I don't like salmon it's the only fish that I will not eat 
So this is all for him, but he really likes it and it's very convenient to make for him on days when, um, you know, we're both running late and he has to go to work. Okay, DiGiorno, I know this is not healthy, but uh, I feel like everybody needs a frozen pizza in the refrigerator, great emergency items. And I know sometimes I just crave, you know, I crave a pizza. So I got, it was like, I think 10 bucks for a three pack. And I think it's like $8.99 for one DiGiorno at Walmart. So, you know, so I got a deal on some pizza and snagged it up. Raisins I got for uh, my oatmeal. I've been perfecting my oatmeal cookie recipe and I think I'm ready to add raisins to them. So I'm gonna try some oatmeal raisin cookies this month. Maybe even some uh, like oatmeal raisin muffins or just some cinnamon raisin muffins. So I got that from Kroger. Uh, we've got some applewood smoked ham and then underneath there is oven roasted turkey and I'm gonna use this obviously for sandwiches but also I have a lot of tortillas I need to use up and I think I'm gonna make I don't know like turkey and bacon breakfast wrap tortillas and use like some egg and cheese and like you know maybe some turkey and also that bacon that I showed you. So yeah, that's gonna be like a quick, like on the go meal thing. I've got a huge pack of chocolate chips. Uh, again, I bake, pretty much anytime I bake, I feel like I use chocolate chips and I'm constantly repurchasing them. So I just bought this huge bag because it was like $8.99. I didn't even care about the price. I just saw it for a convenience factor. And then I got some, uh, you know, dish liquid. This really wasn't a part of the meal. Uh, whoops this really wasn't a part of the uh, meal budget but whatever I had it here and then um, some AP flour again something that I'm constantly running out of I got Will Folgers coffee because the Starbucks coffee Folgers coffee was nine dollars Starbucks coffee was 18 and I was just like you know what I only get coffee when I go out so there's really he, he'll drink any coffee so he got Folgers. Um, from Kroger, I had to supplement uh, with the Chobani Flips because Sam's Club was out of my Chobani uh, Flip bulk package. Normally, I can get the Almond Coco Loco and Key Lime Crumble in a bulk pack at Sam's Club, but they didn't have any, so I was a little upset about that. And so I just got a few from Kroger to hold me over. I may go back in like a week or so to see if Sam's Club has replenished on these. Sour cream, not something that we use a ton of, but it seems like every time I make tacos or quesadillas, uh, things like that, Will's like, oh, do we have sour cream? And we're always out, so I got some sour cream. I got Will the Chobani uh, Greek yogurt. That's what he likes to eat with granola. Some milk, that's another Will thing. He drinks milk, I don't drink milk. Now I will drink occasionally like some almond milk, but no, I don't just drink milk for fun. <laughs> um, eggs for baking and also breakfast. And Will likes to boil eggs sometimes to have as like a healthy snack. So a lot of eggs there. We have some fresh eggs already from his uh, grandparents in the fridge, but I know we'll go through those fast. So I go or I went ahead and replenished on those uh, quick oats. Those are for Will. He loves oatmeal, and I also use that to bake with. And then my pride and joy, my chicken thighs. I knew Kroger would have these for a way cheaper price. And they did, they were $1.49 a pound, which is actually higher than what they normally are. Uh, I have went sometimes and they've been as low as like $1.20 a pound. Uh, so yeah, I got two huge pack packs of chicken thighs. And if you can have one staple in your kitchen when it comes to food, chicken thighs, man. Like I cook so much with chicken thighs. You can make broth, you can make soup, you can pre-make the chicken and uh, like freeze the broth. You can uh, just like, you can do so much. I know I just gave you three examples, but trust me, there's so much you can do with those. And I love having chicken thighs on hand. Okay, so I think that is everything um, other than a bottle of olive oil right there. I got some olive oil from Sam's Club. Uh, and yeah, I did go over budget as expected. Uh, I spent a little over 300, but uh, you know, I did add a lot of things that weren't, weren't expected. I did throw in some things and I did have some products that weren't really a part of the meal plan. Uh, I forgot two things. I forgot paper towels and I forgot uh, pot pie crusts. 
I can make that. What am I thinking? I don't need to go buy that. I can make pie crust from home. I've got everything I need. So just forget that. Forget I even said that. So I just need to get my Viva paper towels now. I wasn't going to buy them from Kroger either because they're expensive at Kroger. So I'll just pop into the Walmart one day and I'll get my Viva uh, paper towels. So yeah, this is the haulage and I've got to put it up before uh, it goes bad because it's been sitting in my car for a while. I got a rotisserie chicken at Kroger's because it's literally time for Will to get up and he has to eat before five because he goes in around six. So um, maybe I'll catch up with you guys later and take you over to the house. We'll see. <laughs> Mm-hmm.